Welcome to JK Today. I'm Joey. And I'm Caden. And all I've had to eat today is eggs, sausage, and refried beans. So sorry, Joey. Woo! Uh, but it's National Lovers Month. So let's get ready to party! Woo! <laughs> I'm gonna save the harmonica. I'm gonna save the harmonica for, <laughs> for another another jingle. Welcome nice. back, everybody. Welcome. How was your week? How y'all doing? Wow. Good, I hope. Uh, yeah, yeah. Leave us a comment uh, and also like, uh, subscribe if you haven't, and please ring that bell. Get notified so yeah. you never miss a show. Of course you, you miss wouldn't. This uh, yeah, this is. This is gripping, premium, compelling content. That's right. Uh, we got a good show today, though. Today? I, I think it's going to be a good show. I think it's going to be a great show. Yeah. Uh, you know, love is in the air. It is. Uh, we got Valentine's Day coming up. We got a little surprise. Uh, a little surprise for you yeah. for a little bit later for Valentine's. Um, what else we got going on? How was your week? You know, uh, baseball starting up. So, oh, oh, yeah. So I've been busy with uh, schlepping the kids around to mm-hmm. various practices mm-hmm. and tryouts and getting their gear and that sort of stuff. A lot easier with a second car, huh? Yeah, it is a lot easier with a second yeah. car. Yep. Yes. Finally got my car back. Oh from yeah. The shop. Nice. Yeah. How is it? Um, it's good. It's a lot lower than I remembered. Because we, you know, we had a couple rental cars, so we were oh up higher a little bit. Yeah, I guess my car is really low. Yeah. I didn't know. It was a pretty low uh, car. I'm a poet. I didn't know it, <laughs> and uh, they forgot to put one of the little seatbelt clips back on. So that could be a problem. Not, no, nah, it's just like uh, to get the seatbelt like out of the way for like the back back passenger seat. Gotcha. So it's not really necessary, but now there's like two just empty. Spots, spots. So, gotcha. Got to get that back. Otherwise, uh, I think it's good. Nice. Um, yeah. Mister uh, uh, Broxon is growing like a weed. Oh man, yeah. Brock is crazy. He is. He's yeah. He's he's crawling like a little monster, and he's pulling himself <laughs> up, standing, almost walking, Dang. almost there. And then I don't know what's gonna happen. Yeah. Well, what was it like when your your kids started walking? Man, it uh, were 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 they all kind of the same once they started walking, or were one was it were they different? Well, there's such an age difference that like hard to remember. They they all started walking, and it was like chaos once. That happens because they want to get into everything. Yeah. And they have he already does want to get into access everything. to everything at that yeah. point, basically, and you gotta block things off and like there's just no sitting down. Yeah, uh, there's no yeah. sitting down already. I guess. Yeah, <sighs> yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, it goes by quick though. That's it by yeah, quick. it sure does. <laughs> I, yeah, I feel like he's ten. He's like ten months now, almost ten months. And I, I look back at pictures of him when he was, like, you know, first born, even up to, like, three or four months. And, like, mm-hmm. I almost don't even recognize him. Yeah. Like, I don't even remember that kid. Because yeah. now he's just, like, full personality. And... Yeah, it's crazy. Same with Mike. Like, my two boys, their baseball pictures from just last year look so much different from what they uh, look like now. Yeah. Like, it's just in that year. It's crazy. Time flies. Uh, that's life, huh? That's uh, life. Almost forgot. Almost forgot because we don't really... We skipped last week. Or no, we did it last week. Skipped the week before. Uh, but we're back. We're back on it with our uh, featured snacks. Featured snacks. Uh, we're getting spicy. Let me heat things up. We're getting spicy this, yes. this week. Lover's Mun. Uh, Joey was so gracious to order us up some uh, some crazy beef jerky. Yeah, another jer- three different three different kinds. Well, all the same brand, right? Yeah, three different heats. Well, what it? Carni- carnivore candy. Yeah. Uh, is we're gonna start off. We're gonna start off slow. 
uh, with a little mango habanero. That's the slow one. And we're going to kick it up a notch to, to like all the way up to hot. Uh, some some volcanic jalapeno. Mm-hmm. Uh, but then we're breaking the we're breaking the hot meter. Breaking the barriers. The dial is broken. It's past hot. We got some uh, creeping reaper with Carolina reapers. Do you dare? Now we did we did one jerky. We did previously. One, before we did a uh, country archer death reaper jerky, and it was pretty. That was it was pretty good. It got you. It you got, got the you. you got the job done. It, it'll do. Yeah, a dab will do you. Huh? So we're gonna compare. Yeah, we. I mean, I kind of remember it. Yeah. I don't know if we'll need to open it and try it again, but maybe maybe, maybe but, we will. Hey. Um, let's let's start it off. Let's start it off with uh, some mango hob, mango yeah. habanero. Let's do it. Rawr. Get that out of here. Yeah. Ooh, it smells good. Yeah. It smells like a nice steak. Hmm. What we got? Careful not to touch your eyes or any, yeah, they're, any sensitive areas. Oh, that's a big piece. They're generous pieces. Carnivore candy. Oh, that's a oh, generous wow. piece and a half. Oh, that's... Man, these are nice pieces. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Mm, oh, really sweet to start, mm-hmm. and then the, then the heat, little heat comes. First, it's sweet, and then it's spicy. Mm. Yeah, I like the mango. The it's very balanced. Yeah, like it's mango is a very hit or miss. Mm-hmm. I think it adds a good sweetness to the amount of habanero. That's right. That's right. It's mm, yeah. It's almost slightly sour. I think there's like a citrus in the. It's the mango. Mango's a citrus, right? Hey Google, is mango a citrus or a melon? I think it's a melon. Huh? On know. the website alexaanswers.amazon.com, they say no, mangoes are not citrus fruit. Mangoes are considered stone fruit because they have a single large seed in the middle. Stone. No citrus fruits come from flowering trees that produce juicy fruit with sharp taste, such as oranges, limes, and lemons. Wow. Um, what's more interesting is that Google just referenced Alexa. <laughs> what was that about? That's I didn't I'm, catch that. Like Alexa, yeah. Oh my. I have to watch that back. Wow. Man, my mind is blown. Google, Alexa, Amazon. Crazy. They're in cahoots. I wonder if people watching uh I wonder if people watching have one have a Google or Alexa too. And then theirs goes off and messes everything up. Hmm. Do you have one? Do you have a Google or Alexa? I I don't. Nope. So, Living under a rock. <laughs> uh so actually, Jimmy Kimmel has a good bit um, on his show. Yeah, he'll he'll start he'll start talking about Alexa or something, and uh, or he, actually he said at one time in a monologue, you know, he said, "Hey Alexa, blah blah blah." I asked it a question, <laughs> and uh, whatever. But then <clears throat> he did it live on air. Yeah, and then he got bombarded with uh with you know comments and stuff. Oh. Because people's every, Alexas? Yeah, everybody watching. <laughs> like, it ordered, it made an order for them on Amazon. And it, like, ordered a bunch of items to people's houses. Oh, no. Yeah, something crazy like that. <laughs> so, uh, pretty pretty funny. Yeah, technology. the dangers of that one-click ordering stuff, yeah. right? Yeah, pretty funny. Crazy. Uh, craziness. Yeah, that, that's good. I like that. Yeah. Uh, let's move right on. That, that was a good baseline. Yeah, it's not it's not too spicy, but it's got some heat. Yeah. Uh, volcanic well, jalapeno. Yeah. What's the What's the nose on this one? Mmm, I like that smell. It's it's a little it smells a little hotter. It definitely does smell hotter. See, I thought the habanero one was gonna be hotter. Uh, then, but on the meter. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, on the meter, they didn't hold back. Man, it's got a lot more uh, a lot more little pepper. 
Whoops, I forgot to cheers you. Cheers, buddy. Yeah, cheers. I just couldn't wait. I just ah. couldn't wait. Because all I've had is refried beans today. <laughs> That's some eggs and sausages, too. But... Mm. I like, I really like that. The flavor's there. It's got that classic hot flavor. Heat-wise, yeah, it's like a just a, your regular hot jerky. It's your regular hot jerky. But um, it's carnivore candy. So. If you're a carnivore, you know, you'll have some candy. Mm. I think there's some sweetness in there, too. Yeah, I like, yeah, it's got a good sweetness on it. Mm-hmm. It's just jalapeno. Right into the mic, sorry. All right, let's keep let's keep trucking. We got we're ten minutes in. Yeah, we got to do the gotta let's do the going. damage. We gotta keep going. Creeping yeah. Reaper. Oh, it doesn't even want to open. It's that hot. Oh, the plastic melted. Oh my god, the plastic did melt. Yikes! Ah, there it is. Well, it doesn't smell that much hotter. No. It smells like it's going to have a different flavor, but yeah. it doesn't smell hotter. Oh, oh crap. Oh, my God. Do I have to eat this whole thing? No. I think you got, like, three pieces there. Oh, I think I do have an extra piece. I'm ripping it off, at least. <sighs> Out of my eye. No! Ah! Just kidding. Yeah, don't get in your eye. I feel guilty just... It's all right. I can take more heat than you. Having that piece. Cheers, dude. Cheers. Good luck. See you on the other side. Yeah. Hmm. Warning. This jerky is made with the hottest peppers on earth. Enjoy with caution. Oh, yeah. It's, it's creeping up quicker. Mm. Wow. That is, you know, the flavor is not as good on this because of how hot it is, I believe. Right. Um, Still pretty good flavor, though. It's a lot more bold. You can taste the... If something is super, like, hot, like, uh, like, uh, like the bomb hot sauce, mm-hmm. like, it has a super bold... Mm-hmm. Almost like, like bold, musky flavor. Kick you in your mouth hot. This kind of has a little bit of that. Not as bad, but. That one did make me sweat a little bit. I think I'm, I think I'm sweating. Yeah. Did you take off your jacket? No. I'm going to have to take off my jacket. Yeah, I did before. Woo! All right. Woo. I like it. Yeah. I think my favorite. Hmm. I think my favorite might be the mango. But actually, the volcanic jalapeno is good, too. Oh, one wow. of the first two. One of the first two. Yeah, I'd go with the volcanic jalapeno. Yeah, I like it too. Uh, but double thumbs up. Yeah, I'll try one more piece of that. Um, we got some bitchin' sauce if you need to cool down. We also have a little bit of sausage. A little bit of sausage. But yeah, we'll close these up. Funny <laughs> thing is, um, <laughs> these arrived before I got home from work. Mm-hmm. And my kids almost dove into them. Oh. They would have regretted that real quick. Yeah. Unless they take... Do they like hot stuff? They like spicy stuff, but not... They're not there yet on the hot. All right. Um, mm. We are all out of order. Uh, uh, back to Brock. Yeah. Um, took him to his first Royal Rumble party. Mm. It was really cool. How'd my, you do? My buddy JD's house. Uh, he did great. He was having fun. There was a couple dogs running around. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it was the first, I think it was the first time he's seen another dog besides ours, Tyson. And ours is just a little chihuahua. And these are bigger, mm-hmm. like, uh, retrievers. Oh, wow. And he loved them. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was cool seeing his reaction to a, a bigger dog. That's cool. Um, also, I entered the, the Rumble Pool. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I won. I won uh, I won $110 out of the, Congratulations. the Rumble pool. Yeah. Uh, Rhea Ripley, winner of the Women's Royal Rumble, uh, 
came through for me. Um, Did you? No. Um, I remember talking last year about Royal Rumble. Mm-hmm. It's one of our first shows. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're coming up on a year. Yeah. Uh, it's been it's, fun. It, it's been over a year. Uh, not I a mean, year. as far as worth of shows, we've taken. There's been a we've been weeks. here for a year. We took a yeah. couple weeks off, but we've been here for a year. Been here for a year. Um, uh, so that was fun. It was also uh, my friend JD's birthday, so we uh, celebrated that. And uh, happy birthday, JD! Happy birthday, man! Um, thanks again. Uh, and oh man, oh, I only got to watch like an episode and a half this week, but Kaleidoscope. Oh. Oh my god, it's getting so good. I'm sure I'm sure everybody's seen it by now. I won't do any spoilers. Not yet till I watch them all. But... Watch them all, yeah. But but this one... kind of understanding how you can watch them in different orders. Yeah. Um yeah, I skipped an episode, went to another one, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm just going to watch them in order as they have them. Good. Unless you have a better idea. Let me know. I watched them straight through, just in sequence. Yeah. Um, Because the heist comes... Because the actual heist is last, but then there's an episode that's after the heist first. Right. So was that weird? They go like... Was that weird watching the episode that that happened after the heist? It, It was, but it helps tell the story without... Spoiling the actual heist. So did you think... So when you watch the episode after the heist... Okay. What, did you feel like there wasn't going to be an episode of the actual heist? Or what? how did that... No, I still thought there would be the heist because of how it jumped around anyway. Okay, yeah. That's true. And so like I was expecting the heist to be... That's true. It reminds me of Kill Bill. Did you watch mm-hmm. Kill Bill? Like the orange episode, the blue, the yellow. red episode. Is like there a yellow one. I can't the remember. The first one. There's like different chapters. Yeah. There's different chapters in Kill Bill. It's kind of it's kind of yeah. like that. Um, but really good. Yeah, you can see each episode as a chapter. Yeah. Really good. Get on Kaleidoscope if you haven't. Yeah, if you haven't. Um, Do it. Yep. What about you? Have you been watching anything? Not really. Uh, so what's going on? Been watching, um, trying to watch LeBron James get closer to breaking Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's all-time scoring record. Okay, I didn't know that was a thing. So he's expected to reach that in the next, I think, three games. Uh-huh. Uh, so LeBron, huh? Yeah, crazy. I guess, he, uh, I guess he deserves to be a billionaire or millionaire, yeah, whatever that question was. Got a couple dollars. Remember that we got that question about LeBron deserving to be a... Yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? Oh. In general, I don't think athletes should make as much as they do. I mean, I think they should if the, yeah. if the team and the everyone else is making that much money. Well, no, I get it. I just don't think that... Yeah, athletes and sports people should yeah, be. Yeah, that's crazy. It's crazy that there's multi millionaires. It's crazy that there's that much money when people actually working are that's struggling. Insane. Like it's it just seems off balance to me. It's insane. But you know, whoo, some hot jerky. Mm-hmm. Which one did you go that's back good. to? That was the that was the last piece of the. Oh, oh that was the creeping last reaper. Whoo, whoo. Oh, I feel it going down. Yeah, you feel that heat going down. You know, I'm gonna go back to the habanero. Damn, I'll let you. Yeah. You don't gotta. You don't gotta hurt yourself. Um. Oh, also, almost forgot. Oh um, yeah, you got a new uh, figure. Yeah, shout out to fellow Major Mark uh, Alejandro Contreras. Uh, hooked me up with a one of three thousand Chris Jericho. Um, if you haven't figured it out by now. I guess I took him out of the background back there, but Chris Jericho is my all-time favorite wrestler. Um, nice, amazing career, one of three thousand figure. 
uh, it's priceless to me. Uh, but I think the value just kind of keeps skyrocketing on that, to be honest. So great investment, but not really because I'm never going to sell it. So, <laughs> but uh, great, gave, he gave me a great deal. So thanks, buddy. Um, yeah, that was my week. Um, but oh, <laughs> also, also this week. But wait, there's more. There's more. Uh, this week. Oops. Oh boy. Oh, whoops. All right. Lost it all. This week, uh, we had National Croissant Day. Oh, that's funny because I had a croissant sandwich for breakfast today. Okay. Didn't, uh, I didn't mean to have it coincide with croissant. What is, what's the difference in, in a croissant as opposed to like a regular roll or bun? It's it's flakier. It's, how does it make it more air? Airy or something, right? Yeah, I think it's a different go altogether. Okay. All right. Um, National Dark Chocolate Day. My favorite. Same, same. Uh, Black History Month. Canned Food Month. Hmm. When was the last time you had some canned food? Um. You you guys do anything canned? Not. I'll tell you what. Mine was today. Those refried beans. Yeah, not really. I mean. Oof. We'll do canned green beans every now and again. Okay. Tomato sauce. I mean. Yeah. You know, yeah. Know. Yeah. Easy but we stuff. don't do like a lot of soups, canned soups or anything. We make our own soups and okay. stuff. So. Um, uh, celebration of Chocolate Month. Uh, marijuana Awareness Month. Uh, National Avocado and Banana Month. Mm-hmm. What would you prefer if you had to pick one? Uh, probably avocado. Yeah. yeah. Oh man, yeah. I'll take some avocado. Uh, put some sriracha in there. Yeah. Either like fill up a little half, you know, a little, little half, or just little like a little, little. And then I'll I'll pour some uh, some some pepper flakes on there. Yeah. Okay, like like the ones that are on here. <laughs> and yeah, eat it up, man. Oh well, that's great. Uh, what about you? Uh, I'd go with, I'd probably go with banana. Yeah? You don't yeah. like avocados? No, I, I do like avocados. Okay. I just like banana more. Now it's like the perfect, like, little go-to snack. It has... It a, is its own self-contained... Yeah. Fruit. You don't have to wrap it. There's, there's some joke, there's some joke about that. <laughs> uh, National Snack Food Month. Uh, National Sweet Potato Month. We got Valentine's Day coming. Valentine's up. Day is coming up, of course. Uh, Groundhog Day. Did oh. you Did you hear that he saw, he saw his shadow. shadow? And there's gonna be what six more weeks? Six more weeks of winter. It has been cold. It has been very cold here. Well, I'll tell you what. It won't be cold if you have some of this uh, Creeper Reaper Carnival, Carnival candy. candy jerky. Yeah. I recommend. Recommend. Whew. National Hedgehog Day. Hedgehog Groundhog. Is there? Hey Google. What's the difference between a hedgehog and a groundhog? On the website a-c-animals.com, they say, another physical difference between these two is that groundhogs have bushy and furry tails, while hedgehogs do not. People also sometimes ask me, is a groundhog the same as a woodchuck? Do you want to hear the answer? Sure. On the website pestworld.org, they say, groundhogs are also referred to as woodchucks or whistle pigs. They are a member of the squirrel family. There are six species of woodchucks and marmots that occur in the United wow. States. Huh. Whis- I did not know that a groundhog was a woodchuck. I don't know. They're also called whistle pigs. Whistle pigs. That's the coolest name I've ever heard in my entire life. <laughs> I call myself a whistle pig. <laughs> whistle pig. <laughs> oh, that was amazing. Good stuff. Uh, National Tater Tot Day, Ukulele Day. <laughs> Give me my tots. <laughs> and Napoleon Dynamite. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, watch that again. National Bubble Gum Day. You have a favorite type of bubble gum? Some uh, some Big League Chew or some uh, Bazooka or some. I like um, uh, uh, What's the other one? Big Red. Big Red. I like cinnamon. 
That's not bubble gum. That's no, not bubble gum, though. That's, that's chewing just, gum. That's just chewing gum. Um, bubblicious. <laughs> uh, bubblicious. Oh, that's what I was thinking of. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. The watermelon bubblicious? Oh, baby. Did you go with more? Uh... No, I, I had the mango. Oh. But it snuck, it snuck yeah. up on me. It'll get you. Wow. Yeah. Did not expect it. Um, wow. Yeah, I would go Bubblicious or Big League Chew. Big League Chew? Mm. Yeah, my kids like that. Mm. Mm-hmm. Classic. Um, it's Facebook's birthday. Happy birthday, Facebook. Oh, yeah. Farmer's Day. And uh, National Eat Ice Cream for Breakfast Day. I could, I could get behind that. Definitely get behind that one. That's right. Uh, baby, baby, baby. Uh, a little follow-up. Uh, thank you, Claudia, for always commenting. She said, great show, guys. It's cool to have my own day. It was National Claudia Day last yeah. week. Uh, but I like to think every day is my day. It is, Claudia. It's definitely yeah. your day every day. We'll celebrate you. Uh, cheers to Claudia. Hey, question. Do you know anyone who shares the same birthday with their siblings, but born in different years? Uh, I can't say that I do. I can't say that I do either. But I feel like in my wife's family, somebody has the same birthday cousin or something, maybe. I'm kind of amazing my not siblings but my mother-in-law who um, passed away a while ago um, my son was born on her birthday oh, wow. so they share a birthday crazy so it was really special for my wife oh yeah it's weird how things work huh yeah like is it coincidence or or is it or is this all just a simulation yeah is it a glitch in the matrix? I don't know. Could be. I do like the taste of the steak. Yeah. This it's hot, addictive. This hot steak. Uh, I'm going to have some more in a minute, too. Yeah, have some more. Have some more sloppy jokes. I guess we should have put that up. Uh, it's probably going to fall. Oh, well. Uh, it's good stuff. So good. Uh, my two brothers celebrated their birthdays on Saturday, born six years apart. Oh, same happened with my dad's two younger brothers. Wow. Oh, runs in families. Now, what month? What month? Uh, so on Saturday. Well, so that was January. Saturday, the Saturday of January. Yes. 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 Um, so what? What month were uh, your dad's two younger? Because I have a theory that more people have babies maybe like around the holidays is when they are conceived. So like in like December, then they would be born in September um, or if they're or, you know, Valentine's Day, that then they would be born in November. Or, it's like what? Yeah. Cause what you gotta happened think back, like nine, nine months, months like, before? What? So April. Was it random or was it for a special occasion? Yeah. Was it, you know? Huh? Was what, it, when's your birthday, Claudia? Was it an Easter special? An Easter special. <laughs> so that would be Aprilish. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so nine months from that is January. Okay. Well, it was an Easter special then, huh? <laughs> uh, I couldn't live in a time where there wasn't indoor plumbing. Uh, so I rather live a hundred years in the future. Yeah, that was one of yeah. our cards, right? Yeah, it was. Yeah. Um, not every tall person is good at basketball. Of that course, is of true. Of course not. Yeah. Uh, I'd rather not hear. I can always text people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's true. Uh, it's not like we call people on the phone anymore, anyways, right? Yeah, barely. Drop the pen. Uh, Deadpool can't die. I'd be depressed. I'm not sure. I can't remember what we were talking about. Deadpool. Something about superheroes, maybe? Deadpool. Or was it Have Eternal Life? Oh, you're right. Good memory, dude. Good 
good memory. If they put fake sugar in diet soda, then it's worse than regular soda. I got a cousin got liver damage by drinking diet soda. I believe it. Uh, I like thin crust pizza. After party, I'll check it out. Have a great week, guys. That's right, yeah. the after party. Enjoy it. Uh, the after party, our new halfway through the week show, uh, drops on Wednesdays. Yeah. Uh, what'd you think? What'd you think of? Uh, I liked it. Of a first uh, halfway it, JK halfway show. It was it was smooth. It was just a little bit a little bit more relaxed. Yeah, we we you yeah. know. Played some ah, Connect down. Four. Yeah, we forgot to do Connect Four in the main show, uh, so we had to we had to bring it back. And uh, spoiler alert, but I won again. Well, we're gonna go best of seven. Best of seven. I'm gonna uh, make a amazing comeback. Best comeback you've ever seen. Okay, uh, but you're gonna have to tune into JK Halfway on Wednesday to see that. Yep. See what happens. Stay tuned. Cause we're we're running long already. Well. <laughs> Um, too much fun around here. Yeah, what was I? What else was I gonna say? Uh, JK halfway. Uh, yeah, I think that was it. Um, yeah, too JK much. halfway. Yeah. So, um, this week, uh, instead of our our regular hot takes, uh, in honor of Valentine's Day coming up, we got um some heart to heart. The conversation, conversation starts. starts. Uh, so let's do a special little jingle for uh, conversation cards. Okay. I'll let you set the tempo. That was special. It was special. Won't you be my neighbor? All right. We got 48 cards here. Uh, so we might have to do... I'm gonna have to do some of these in the after party for for JK halfway. Yeah. Or maybe we'll just uh, do the rest next week. Or so should we do them all before Valentine's Day, or should we make the whole month? Yeah, I mean let's let's stretch it out. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how yeah. it goes. February is a short month. Yeah, that's true. It is the least amount of days, right? Yep. Is it a leap year this year? Hey Google. Is it a leap year? Leap year will start on Monday, January 1st, 2024, and will end on Tuesday, December 31st. So next year. There you go. Now you know. All right, you do the honors, buddy. What's, right. the, what's, what's, what's the very first? Or do you want me to cut it? No, go ahead, please. No, oh, okay. start at the top. What event do you remember the most about 2013? Oh, well, I got married in 2013, so that was easy. Nice. You? Yeah. Uh, my son Kai was born. Oh, well, there it is. Yeah. Easy enough. Janu Man. January 8th, started off the year. Oh, wow. Well. Yeah. Well, I think we're going to just blow right through these. Let's see. Which sport do you think is the most difficult to be successful at? Explain. Uh. Um. I'm going to say gymnastics. Ooh. Yeah, I guess so. Like, sport-wise, like, you have to, like... Yeah. You're like... I didn't think about You it. eat, breathe, drink, sweat, yeah. bleed. Well, similar similarly? 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 Uh, I mean, I guess not everyone would consider it a sport, but uh, I kind of do. I would say pro wrestling, because yeah. there are there are so many pro wrestlers out there, but there are very few really good ones. Yeah. Um. And I mean, it it also depends what you mean successful. That's true. That that's also very uh, uh subjective. The next one. Uh oh, what we got? <laughs> what would you appreciate more? A handwritten note from someone you love 
or a thoughtful gift. Explain. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, I don't want no notes. What am I going to do with a note? <laughs> I'm just going to throw it away. Like, I guess I could keep it for a bit, but... Yeah. What do you th- what, how do you feel about cards and, like... I mean, sure, I guess it's thoughtful if you write your own little... Yeah, it's funny. I, I love the fact me and my wife are on the same page with this, but... Like, cards and flowers. Save your money, people. Like, save your money. Yeah. <laughs> like, same, yes. it's a nice gesture, but the flowers are just going to die. Like, mm-hmm. my wife is the same exact way. Yeah. yeah. And it's, yeah. So, I, a thoughtful gift. Yep. Definitely. Uh huh. Would be. Deck contents. Don't need that card. Whoops. Flip it upside down. What do we got? What do we got? What movie that has never had a sequel do you wish had one? Well, um, I think they're making one. I was going to say R.I.P.D. You ever see R.I.P.D.? Oh. Oh, it's pretty good. With, uh, Ryan Reynolds and uh... hey Google, who's in R.I.P.D.? R.I.P.D. has a cast of more than 60 actors. Here are the first three, Marissa Miller, Jeff Bridges, and Ryan Reynolds. Jeff Bridges. Oh, Jeff Bridges. Let me know if you want me to tell you more. The dude. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good movie. Yeah. Have you, you never seen it? i never seen it. Dude, I'll I have it, it in 3D. I have a 3D TV. Yeah. You gotta come watch it. Okay. Okay. It's freaking great. I'll take that invite. I don't know why that was the first one that came to mind, so it must yeah. have been. Um, I. What about Fight Club? Yeah, that's a good one. Like, that's true. Or, um, Forrest Gump. Yeah. I there's a like, lot. Like what? Yeah. What there's happened? There's a lot. There's a lot. Yeah. Go ahead. All right. How would you want your family and friends to remember you? When I die? Dang. As the coolest mo truck around? I mean, what? Yeah. <laughs> Obvi. <laughs> <laughs> right? There's some quote I can't I can't remember. I would I would butcher it. Well, if you could go anywhere in the world with anyone for a week, where would you go? Who would you take? Uh, <sighs> trying to get spicy on us, huh? Right. I mean, we're married, so yeah. I mean, yeah. Um. All right. If we would take each other anywhere in the world, where well, would we go? Where would be? I would take you. Yeah, where would you take me? I would take you to Amsterdam. Oh, that would be fun. Yeah. <laughs> I've never been, but We're I, hear, muck in Amsterdam. I hear it's a great time. Yeah. I've heard some things. Yeah. I was going to say, um, I believe it's Madrid that has the running of the bulls. Oh, you want to get dangerous, huh? I think that'd be fun. All right. Yeah. I'll allow it. I like that. I like that answer. Um, How many more do you think we should do? Maybe, Maybe one more. One more. Yeah, All we're, right. We're extended version. Last show. Last show. Last card. What attracts you first to the opposite sex? Um, and why? <laughs> attention, because I need it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> A great personality. Yeah. yeah easy. <laughs> That's an easy question. Come on. Right. Come I on. Mean, we know the right answer. If you want to hear more questions and crazy answers, tune in on Wednesday for JK Halfway. Yep. Uh, well, that's all we got for this week. Yep. Um, please like, subscribe, ring the bell. Because uh, we're out of time. Until next week. 
I'm Jay. And I'm Kay. And this is JK Today. See y'all on Wednesday.